to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to go for this look and this look is what we call a cut crease makeup. It's done with a very nice technique done with pencil. So if you're interested in learning how to do this technique, just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is apply a base. I'm going to be using Painter Le Pin Pot and I'm going to apply that all around my eyelid with a synthetic brush. Once you have done that, I'm going to need a very uh, fine black pencil and I'm using MAC Ink Smolder. So the first thing that you want to do when you're going to do a cut crease is sharpen your um, eye call very nicely and then define where your eye actually folds. So mine folds about here. So I want to do my cut crease a little bit higher than that. So I will go right there. So the first thing that you want to do is try to follow the natural shape. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to smudge it anyway. And then come here. And that's kind of like the shape that I want to do. Now with a detail brush, we're going to start smudging that line. And this is definitely going to help me to find the crease and I may come back and forth with the same product. Now I dragged that line a little bit further with what I had left of the product. And now I'm going to start blending that color upwards. So if you see, all I'm doing is very tiny feathering strokes. And I'm going actually upwards. So. All I really want to do is feather that product upwards a little bit. And that's exactly what it smudges it. The base that you have already put in place will help you to run that nicely. So go back and forth, try to clean your brush from time to time so you're not really using way too much product and you can actually blend upwards that product. So keep feathering in the product upwards. Once you have done that, I'm going to do the other eye exactly the same way. Now I'm going to come back with my Lorac Pro 2 palette and I'm going to go with um, Cool Grey. And I'm going to get a little bit of the product in a detail brush. And I'm going to start packing on the color all along that lash line. So you want to make sure that you're using a very nice detail brush. This is one from Smashbox. Now I'm just going over that line with that color and then I'm just blending and packing a little bit of the color upwards as we go. Now I'm going to need a small pencil brush like this one and this is going to help me get right there and blend upwards with the color that I'm using. Just try to get just a tiny bit of the color and start building in your color. This will help you blend in completely. 
Now I'm going to get a soft brown, which is this light brown over here. And I'm going to pack that on top of it. Very, very curlessly. And just applying it. That color with the rest of the colors that I used. And now I'm going to use a clean, fluffy blending brush like 217 from MAC and I'm going to come back here and start blending that color here. And you want to blend it upwards. Always upwards. And I'm going to go with color Rose, which is this one here. And I'm going to apply that all over my lid. all up to the cut crease. Now with the same pencil that you used, I'm going to start coming back from my lower lash line. And then I'm going to extend that line and I'm going to cut that crease. Just like that. Now I'm going to use my detail brush the one that I use for blending and I'm going to come back and blend upwards and start blending inwards into the color that I just applied. Now with the same flat brush I'm going to go with coral and coral is a complete darker color so you want to be careful with coral. You just need a tiny dab of that color. And I'm going to place that color on the outer side and then blend it inwards. So that kind of seals the whole thing. I'm going to go now with a fla tapered flat brush and I'm going to go with cocoa. And I'm just going to dab that into the tip of my brush and I'm going to start using that all along my cut crease all along my cut crease now to highlight my brow bone I'm going to use a mix of puff and beige and I'm going to go all along my brow bone now I'm going to go with my tattoo from Kat Bondi and I'm going to do my liner. You want to start right in inner section and then start building it as you go. And you want to wing it out very, very nicely. Just like that. Alright, so the last thing that you need to do is curl up your lashes, apply your mascara and put on some falsies and I'll be right back. Alright, so I have applied my falsies. Now I'm, all I'm missing is to apply some black uh, pencil on my waterline. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick here. There you go. Alright, so that's pretty much what I had for the eyes. Now, for my face, I have already applied my foundation, which actually was not foundation. It was my Smashbox Camera Ready CC Cream, and I'm using color light medium, and then I did a little bit of contouring with my Laura Mercier um, bronzer. Now, I'm going to go with my cheeks, and for my cheeks, I'm going to be using How About Than Apples, which is a product that I'm just loving so so much and I'm going to go with this one here which is crisp and I'm just going to dab 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 and then start blending it with my fingers you can also use a brush if you want but your fingers work just fine for this all right now I'm going to go with a highlighter brush and this is one of the tapered face this is the F25 and I'm also going to be using Marilou Manizer. This is from The Balm and it's a new product that I just got and I'm liking it quite a lot. It's a good uh, golden shimmery highlighter. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that and I'm going to go on the top of my cheeks with that product. And you guys know that I like to start right behind my eyebrow 
because I feel that that even helps better to illuminate your face. It's a very beautiful highlighter. Now with a tip I'm going to go right on the center of my nose. I'm going to use a little bit of my forehead just to have glowy look. A little bit of my cupid's bow and on my chin. Now for my lips, I'm going to use a color that's limited edition, but I'm going to give you another option. This is Wonder Woman from MAC, and this was a limited co collection color. It was in satin, sapphire, and this is the color. If you guys don't have this color, you can go for the Too Faced Melted Fig, which would be a little bit toned down, but still will look very similar. Now if you happen to have both, like I do, you can also layer them. So I applied first the lipstick and then I'm going to apply my Melted Fig. And I'm applying it just on the center. I like to uh, layer my lipsticks with Melted because, I don't know, it gives them a juicy kind of uh, texture. So I love how that looks. Alright you guys, so this is pretty much what I wanted to show you. This is a cut crease, a complete cut crease eye makeup. And I know that when you guys were seeing me doing it, you were like, it's not going to look good. But I, as always, I promised at the end it's going to look just great. So, um... I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you guys think. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook if you would like to get other stuff aside of the videos because I also post some techniques over there and um, personal stuff as well. So aside of that, please like the video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.